Hey friends, it's Jess. Um, I am going to wait a minute to see if we get some people joining in. Um, I basically wanted to just pop on really quick. I originally planned to do a longer live video today um, and do some crafting, but you guys, I am exhausted. Um, this week, getting back from creativation and um, just like trying to settle back into the rhythm of things. Hey, Barbara. Um, has been super tough. Hey, Tracy. Um, so, hey, Angela. <laughs> um, so, I am like kind of too tired to craft. <laughs> hey, Bay. Um, so, I wanted to kind of take some time tonight and like recuperate a little bit. Um, so, oh, thanks for asking, Kim. He's doing a little better. Um, he was having a little bit of a hard time. Um, especially that first night, but he was better last night. He did struggle a little bit, but um, it was definitely better than the first night. Um, and he's definitely better during the day. He has a runny nose and like a little bit of a fever, but um, for the most part, he's done pretty well. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that it was just kind of like a short-lived thing and it won't be too bad. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yes, I'm going to be like looking over here because all the comments are not popping up on my phone. Um, and I think they're really delayed on my phone, which is kind of weird. Um, but on the computer over there, um, I'm, they're like faster. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tina. Um, my picture's on the Tonic Facebook page. <laughs> um, that's weird. <laughs> um, I wonder if it's the one that Belinda sent me. I think maybe Belinda sent me um, a message that had a picture of me because um, I was on their Instagram the day, one of the days of the show. Um, and I just thought that was like the funniest thing. <laughs> um, oh yes, my sparkly shirt. That's the one I was wearing when I was doing the demos the first day. Um, the second day, I think I was wearing an orange shirt or something. I don't know. But um, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I was showing off like the poster board, I think, and then like something about drops or I don't know. Oh, Melanie, that's so funny. <laughs> um, I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so what I was telling you guys is basically I'm exhausted and um, like I'm not wearing any makeup, which is not really that unusual for me. I don't really usually wear makeup, but um, I'm looking kind of a hot mess, but I decided that I wanted to at least come on for a few minutes and at the very least, even if I wasn't in a craft, I could at least give you guys, um, I, we could do some giveaways. Um, so I have a few things, um, that I will do as like my first round of giveaways and I'm going to try to say, um, less frequently also. I've noticed in some of my replays that I say, um, a lot, so I'm going to try to work on that. See, I almost said it again. It's really hard. Maybe I won't even be able to speak because I want to say, um, okay. So, um, okay. My most favorite new product, um, like from Creativation, there's too many. <laughs> I can't pick just one. Um, <laughs> um, gosh, I don't know. I think the Dream Drops are probably one of my favorites. I really like those. They're super cool. Um, um. <laughs> so let's see. I'm trying to go over in my head what I saw and what stood out the most to me. Um, I really, it's not necessarily new because it's already been out for a while, but I did get to see the um, foil machines in action. So the... Um, Glimmer Hot Foil Machine. I think that's what it's called. Hi, Jibs. Um, I think I think that's what it's called. Glimmer Hot Foil. So that one. And then there's one from Crafter's Companion as well, which is... I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but they're both... They're basically the same. They... You put a die on it. It's like a hot plate. You put a die on top. You put the foil on it um, and your cardstock. And then um, you run it through the die cut machine and it foils it for you which is pretty cool. So I really like those. They're not necessarily new, but they did have them to display at Creativation and I got to see it in action for the first time. So that was pretty neat. Other than that, I think, 
as far as innovation goes, okay, so there was two things that stood out to me. So there was the Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers. I believe that's what they're called. So it's like three colors in one marker. And so you get like a blending trio, basically. Um, you have like a light, a medium, and a dark of, of one shade um, or hue or whatever you want to call it, one color. <laughs> um, so then you don't have to try to worry about like finding colors that blend really well together because you already have a blending set. Kim, it does, okay, it depends on who you ask because some people will tell you that you have to have a specific type of foil, but I believe that as long as it's a thermal foil, it should work just the same because the whole point is that the foil gets hot and that's how it transfers onto the, um, the cardstock. But the companies are kind of vague about it. So I specifically asked the guy who, um, the guy who was doing the demo for that um, foil pen accessory for the Cricut and all the other die cut machines. And hi, Evelyn. And um, he was also very vague. But from what I understand, they want you to buy their foil, but it should work with any other thermal foil. Um, and actually, the one that comes from Gemini, the um, Crafter's Companion one, that one they specifically said you can use other foils. Um, so, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I think those tricolor um, markers are really super cool. And then also that um, foil thing. <laughs> the foil pen USB majigger from We Are Memory Keepers is really cool. Um, now, the only thing about that one, hey, Kijo, is that it does, according to Cricut, void your warranty if you use it with your machine. Um, but they do say that about pretty much everything. Um, anything that is not a Cricut-specific product, if you use it with your Cricut machine, they will tell you that it voids your warranty. Um, so... I don't know. <laughs> Do with that what you will. But um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what the implications are with that. But most people I feel like who have a Cricut don't have a warranty anymore anyway. Because like, I think it's only a year that you get a warranty. And like my, I've had my Cricut for like, mm, four years. Um... I know my son was already born. I think I got it in 2014, but it was like Christmas of 2014. So like f between four and five years, I don't know, that I've had my Cricut. And, um, well, exactly, Gyps. How are they going to prove that you used it? I don't know. I think with that um, quill foil, yeah, you're right, Angela. I think it's called quill and foil pen or something like that. Um, I think that there's like a special mat that you use. Um, and I've heard some people say the only um, concern would be like if the foil got on your machine or something while it was hot, like while it was doing the drawing. I don't know. Um, I don't have one. I've seen it used. However, um, when I asked them to demo it, they wouldn't do it on the Cricut. <laughs> Um, they did it on the silhouette instead. Um, and I had asked like, Hey, can I see it on the cricket? Cause that's what I have. Um, and they were just like, Oh, I already have it set up over here. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't, I didn't get to see it on the cricket. They had the cricket there like that. They could have used it, but, um, I don't know. I'll have to, oops, my battery is low. Sorry about that. I was probably frozen for a second. Um, Anyway, so yes, I don't know. I'll have to uh, I'll have to research it. Maybe I can look and see. Um, oh, it would work on the normal mats. Oh, okay. Well, on when he did the display, I'm gonna upload the video for you guys because I took a video of him showing how to use it. Um, and maybe I'll do that right after this. It'll be a very short, unedited video. It's not gonna be anything fancy, um, but that way you guys can at least see it. Um, so. Think. what was I gonna say oh when I saw them demo it he had it on some sort of like metal looking thing um because like when it gets hot I would worry that it would melt your um I would worry that it would melt your mat because the thing is hot and that's how it's making the foil um transfer I'm not sure um he said it was a mat 
a mat they were working on. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the video and I'll, I'll try to upload it right after this actually. So once we're done, um, I will do that. Okay, so why don't we do this? Why don't we, I'll, I'm gonna at least do one of the giveaways. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what the item is. So it's all pins and one stamp set tonight. Um, so it's the special um, Creativation exclusives. Hello in Texas. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the item and then um, let's see, how do we wanna do this? Um, Cause I wanna offer this stuff to you guys first, my sweet YouTube family. Um, and I'm trying to think of how I wanna do it. <laughs> um, let's do the, um, hi Ivy, let's do, I'll show you the item and then let's pick, um, do we want to do a number? Is that the easiest? Um, I'm just trying to think of like what the easiest way to do this is. Okay, I'm going to write down a number. Um, okay, and I'm going to do, let's see, I need, a, I need a smaller pen. Okay, I'm going to do a number. Um, and I'm actually, so I have, let me count the things I have to give away. Um, hi Margie, one, two, three. Okay, so I have four things tonight. So I'm going to do number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so for all of these, there's nowhere near 100 people in here. Well, let's do 50, because there's not even near 50 people in here. Um, so what number did I write? <laughs> Let me just tell you. Um, okay, so for the first one, um, I'm gonna write what it is. So this is the Stamping Village pin. That's the first one that I'm gonna give away. Um, that way I know what it is that goes to which person. Okay, so Stamping Village pin. And then I'm gonna write down my number. And um, we're gonna do a number one through 50, um, cause that'll give us plenty of a room cause there aren't even that many people in here. Um, and I have picked my number, so I've written down my number for the first one. Um, so what you, if you guys wanna win, this is the pin. Hi Dana. Um, okay, so this is the pin. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me try to get it over a little bit more. Okay, so it says the Stamping Village Creativation 2019. Um, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna give away. These are exclusive to the show. You can't get them anywhere else. So only if you were at Creativation. Um, so what we're gonna do is pick a number one through 50 and um, pop it in the comments in the live chat. And um, we're gonna do closest without going over because hopefully that will help us easier like come to a number or a conclusion easier okay so that's for the stamping village pin I'm looking at all of your numbers I'm gonna wait just a minute so that I can make sure everyone has had a ch um, yes for each pin Dana yep I'm gonna do it separately <laughs> um, I just figured that would probably be easier <laughs> hey Sandy um, but yeah so just pick a number and it's 1 through 50 and then yeah in just a minute I will um, pick a winner. But yeah, closest without going over. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so while I'm waiting on that, the next thing that I'm going to give away is the Jane Davenport pen, a uh, pin, which is um, a little mermaid. All right. Oh, someone chose your previous number. Okay. If there is a repeat, then let's see. Um, okay, well, I will tell you that someone has picked the number, the correct number. Um, hold on one second. I'm just looking through the numbers. <laughs> um, okay, so only one person picked the number. That is the right number. Um, okay, has everyone had a chance to pick a number? <laughs> um, okay, so our first winner for the Stamping Village pin is Dana because the number is whoop, can you see that 37 okay <laughs> so 37 was our first number so Dana is our winner for the stamping village pin um, so Dana if you can shoot me an email to a card days work at gmail.com I'm gonna put it in there for you um, and then just put in the subject line um, YouTube winner so that I can find it easily <laughs> as I get a lot of emails. Um, but yes, so if you can just send me an email with your mailing address and um, that you won the stamp 
the stamping village pin then I will get that out to you in the mail by Monday um congrats <laughs> hello in the Philippines um, okay, so that is our first one. So now we have a winner for our Stamping Village pin. Yay. Okay, our next one is going to be the Jane Davenport pin. It is a mermaid. Um, so this one was exclusive from Spellbinders. It has the mermaid. It has the um, Jane Davenport down at the bottom. Has two pins on the back. Hooray. It's super cute. I love this one so much. Um, okay, so we're going to do the same thing, only there are slightly more people in here. So let's do a number 1 through 75. Um, closest without going over, and I'm not going to look at the screen so I can write down my own number. Um, okay, so I've written down my number. Go ahead and pop your numbers in the comments in the live chat. All right. Is this fun for you guys? I feel like, I don't know, maybe, is it fun? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just writing down Dana's name so that I have that on my paper. Yes, it's fun. Okay, good. <laughs> um, woo. Okay, I'm looking at your comments over here on the computer. Um, so hang tight. <laughs> okay. Looks like the numbers are slowing down. Oh good, I'm glad you guys are having fun. <laughs> okay, so there is a person who picked the right number. Um, let's see, I'm just making sure there's no duplicates. Okay, so there's no duplicates for the right number. So the winner of our Jane Davenport pin is number 23. Um, and t I'm so sorry if I butcher your name. Is it Mikako? You tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, it's nice not to have to wait days to find out. <laughs> yes, I appreciate like instant gratification. <laughs> I am all about that. Um, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, good. Well, you're the winner. <laughs> um, if you can, just send me an email to that same email address. So it's a card day's work at gmail.com. And then just make sure you put your mailing address in there and I will get that sent out for you on Monday. Hooray. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hope you love it. Um, okay, so that is number two. So we have two things left to give away. Uh, the next one is this a super adorable mini misty um i hope you can see that no i can mail it it's very small so as long as i'm it should be fine as long as you can just give me make sure that the address is correct and like tell me anything that i need to know about mailing it um wherever i don't know just give me all the details and i'll figure it out it's very small, so like I don't think it's it's not gonna weigh much or anything. But yeah, um, so this one is a tiny little misty. It says my sweet petunia. Um, and it like it's like literally the shape of like a tiny little misty. Super cute. Um, so yeah, so let's do one through seventy-five again, and I'm going to um write down my number as well. Misty pin. I'm like avoiding looking at the screen so I don't see anyone's numbers. Um Okay, I know, isn't it so cute? It's like the most adorable little pin. <laughs> um, and just a reminder, we're doing closest without going over. Um, so then once all the numbers start to slow down, then I will pick a winner. Um, and then yeah, if you guys, while we're waiting and whatever, um, if you guys have questions or anything you wanna talk about, just let me know. <laughs> um, I'm having a blast. I'm excited to have these little things that I can give away for you guys. I think they're super adorable. Um, I hope you love them. <laughs> I know I wish that all of you guys could have been there, um, but this is like the small thing that I can do to kind of include you. Um, so, I don't know. Yay. Um, Oh, Courtney, <laughs> I don't feel so pretty. I feel like I look like a hot mess. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup or even my glasses. Usually I'm wearing glasses and I feel like that, like, I don't know. I feel naked without them. <laughs> um, you guys are so sweet to me, seriously. You know what's funny, Courtney, is that I, people say that a lot 
And I feel like I probably sound like the most annoying person in the world um, because sometimes I listen to my um, my playbacks on my videos and stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, just be quiet. You sound so dumb. <laughs> I'm like, oh well, can't win them all. <laughs> um, okay, I'm looking at your comments. Um, I heard, oh, what is the email? Um, here you go. It is a card days work at g oops at gmail.com. Okay, so that's the email. And let me go back through and look at the um I had to like look at my number again. I'm like, what is my number? Um uh oh, I think my children are invading the craft room. And my younger son is crying right now. I'm doing a giveaway right now, Kieran. I'm on my live video. Do you want to come and say hi to everyone? Do you want to come and say hi? Okay, intermission because my children are coming to say goodnight to me. Good night. Okay. Oh wait, look. Can you look at the camera right here? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is Kieran, and you are how old? Four. He's four. So this is my big boy. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. You ready to go to bed? He's he's distracted because our faces are on multiple monitors right now. Um, <laughs> so he is, yeah, he's like, I don't know where to look. Oh, and here comes the tiny one. Oh, you want to be on it too? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is my littlest one. Okay, Benton, maybe look like happier. Benton, can you? Okay, uh, look. Right there. <gasps> That's you. Ew. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Hi. I love you. Okay. Oh, are you done? Are you ready for night nights? Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. Okay. So they're going to bed. So they just got done in their showers, and they're um. They come down to tell me good night. <laughs> Sorry for the child intermission. Okay, um, I am going back through the comments now. I'm looking at my number to make sure I get the right one. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, let's see, so far that one is the closest. Um, okay, so the closest, without going over, Lord have mercy, I lost them all. Um, is Heidi, Mom Varden. Um, so the number was 64, and the closest number guessed was 60. Um, so, Miss Heidi, you are the winner. Heidi. Okay, um, so if you can, go ahead and also send me an email. That would be awesome. Hooray! <laughs> okay, and then our number four, this may be my favorite. This is our last one. Um, and I feel like I don't want the excitement to end, but here we are. <laughs> okay, so our number four is a stamp and die combination. It's like a mini itty bitty set. Um, and it is from Heffy Doodle. Um, and we're gonna do one through 75 again. So I'm not looking at the screen and I am picking a number. Um, Okay, so I have picked my number, and here is what we are giving away. So it is a tiny, itty-bitty little stamp set from Heffy Doodle, and it says bleep, boop, <laughs> and it's got the little robot dog, which is so stinking cute, and then it also has the die set on the back, you guys. So there's that. Um, so that is our number four, our fourth and final prize for tonight. Um, and I've got my number picked, so when you guys are good to go. <laughs> it is so cute, isn't it? It's so adorable. Um, okay, so I'm going to wait just a minute because I want to make sure everyone has a chance to put in their number. Um, and I'm just going to go back through while I'm waiting. Let's see. Um, and it's closest without going over. Um, I want to make sure I don't miss anybody, so I'm like trying to make sure. Okay. Has everyone had a chance to put in their number? I'm gonna wait just another second, just to make sure. 
Okay, so there wasn't anybody that picked the exact number, um, but the closest was Courtney. Um, so she picked number 16. So Courtney Haynes picked number 16, and my number is 17. So Courtney is the winner of the fourth item, which is the Huffy Doodle stamp. Hey, Mary, how's it going? Um, and that is that. So Courtney, make sure that you email me your mailing address. Um, <laughs> um, make sure you email me your mailing address. I'll pop it in one more time just so you guys have it. Um, a card day's work at gmail.com. Hooray. Okay. So just a recap for those who are just joining. So we just gave away four items that are creativation exclusives right now. Um, so I, the first one that I gave away was the stamping village pin. Um, and Dana won that one. And then we gave um, the Jane Davenport pin um, to Mikako. And then Heidi won this super adorable mini Misty pin. And then our final winner was Courtney, and she won this super cute stamp set and die combo from Heffy Doodle. Um, so all of these items are only available right now through Creativation, so only if you were there. So this is kind of a cool, um, a cool way to kind of bring you guys into it and make you feel more like you were a part of the event. I hope that you do. Um, I wish that all of you guys could have been there because, I don't know, I just, that was the only thing that was kind of a bum. Uh, a, a bum, a bummer <laughs> was that like I wanted to share it all with you guys and the reception was not very good and it was it was hard to stay connected and to keep up to date with you guys and sometimes um, you, you guys were finding out about things before I knew about them and I was like how is this even happening like I'm here and like, I don't even know what's going on, but there's just so much going on there at once that it was impossible to keep up with everything. So, um, it was kind of nice to have you guys on the other side as well, because, um, I don't know. It was just really cool. <laughs> um, so next year, my goal is going to be to do, to like have a better plan. Um, because this year I felt like I had a plan and then I got there and I totally threw it all out the window. Like I just got distracted by all the shiny things and, um, I did not see, there are booths that I didn't see. Like apparently Mama Elephant was there, never saw their booth. I would have loved to have seen their booth, but I never did. <laughs> um, so apparently they were there and, um, who, uh, yeah, glitter in my eyes for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was a bunch of stuff there that I didn't even see. And I really wish that I did. Um, like some of my favorite companies. And yeah, I didn't know where to start. That's totally true. And they give you this really cool app where you can kind of like, um, it gives you directions to the booths and you can star all the ones you want to see. And I did that, but... Um, there were just so many that I got really distracted. So that was kind of a bummer. But I think it kind of gave me some knowledge to take with me next year if I'm able to go again, um, which is that I need a plan and I need like a map um, in advance and I need to like prioritize which ones I want to go and see the most um, because I, I kind of kept defaulting back um, to the same booths. Like I was in the Spellbinders booth a lot. Um, and I think partially it was because I wanted all the pins from that booth and there were five of them and you had to do make and takes at each station so that, um, you could get the pin for that particular artist. Um, they seriously, like there were times when I was just like standing in the middle of like this area and I would just be like, like, I didn't even know where to go. Like I was just like. I don't know what to do right now. I don't know where to go. I don't even know what to think. I was really overwhelmed. Um, and then uh, also because I was demoing in the tonic booth, um, that kind of took up some of the time that I maybe could have spent doing other things, but I'm really glad that I got that experience. It was awesome. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And somehow I got famous. <laughs> Um, and then I was on their Instagram feed and, um, story and apparently on their Facebook. Um, uh, it was the bomb, Kim. <laughs> it was amazing. I love that booth. And so I did spend a lot of time there, even when I wasn't demoing. Um, I spent a lot of time in that booth. So, you know, 
it was awesome. It was really, really fun. And um, I know that this is so stupid to even care about, but when I got home, okay, so I met Jennifer McGuire while I was there. And it was like a total fangirl, like, oh my God, I love you. Um, and so I was, you know, busy being my awkward self. And I was like, I love you so much. And I just, I love everything you do. Uh, you know, just being me. And um, so, <laughs> so I got to meet her and I took a photo with her. And um, she gave me her special pin, her enamel pin that just um, says, share handmade kindness. And she was the sweetest and super like most humble ever. Um, and I really enjoyed talking to her. So, um, anyway, um, so I got to meet her, right? And then I posted our selfie on Instagram and I tagged her, of course, you know, cause that's what you do on Instagram. And, um, so I tag her and I'm like, oh, it was so wonderful to meet Jennifer McGuire and she was humble and kind and whatever I said, that was so true and you know, whatever. And, um, she replied, which was like, crazy to me she replied and she was like it was great to see you um so that was like really crazy and then um I, I was like freaking out about that I was like oh my god she talked to me she like replied to me on the internet <laughs> and um then I don't know like maybe the next day or something um I I opened my phone or whatever and it was like Jennifer McGuire has added you as a friend on Facebook and I was like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> because I just, what even is this life? What even? My goodness. I don't know. And I think that that's like a really weird thing to be excited about maybe because she's just a person, you know, like she's the sweetest person, but she's just a person. And I'm sure she doesn't feel like, you know, any kind of way, but for her, like, or for me, like her adding me as a friend was like, <gasps> Oh my God. <laughs> so of course I hit accept right away. Um, but anyway, it was just like one of those little things that was super, super exciting for me. Um, and I just, I love her to death. So it was really cute. But anyway, um, yes. So that was exciting. I did not get to meet Tim. Um, my story about that is I was in the same booth as him because you know, he has all that stuff with, um, oh, Angela, you're so sweet. <laughs> um, so in the tonic booth, you know, Tim Holtz has like the glass media mat and a bunch of scissors and stuff like that through tonic. Um, so he was in that booth, right? Because he has a partnership with them. So he came over and I was demoing at the time and Marie, um, Marie Heiderscheidt from the Brutus Monroe team as well. She was also demoing at the same time. Um, so we were both there and we were both demoing like on opposite sides of the booth. And, um, he came in and I was like, like, I don't even know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to ask like for him to take a picture with me or whatever, just so that I could have an excuse to meet him or whatever. But he was just, he was busy, of course. And I just couldn't work myself up to it because I... I don't know. I am sort of brave, but also not. He seemed really nice. I mean, I didn't get to talk to him, but I heard him talking to other people. <laughs> um, so he was in the same booth, right? Like we were in the booth and he was like laughing and joking with the other tonic people and they were taking silly pictures together and he just, he seemed really nice. Um, but I didn't get to talk to him cause I was too scared. <laughs> Um, I was too scared. So, and I was bummed too, because I didn't even get to see his, um, demo. Like I never caught him demoing in the ranger booth or anywhere. Um, and I wish that I had, but I don't know. I didn't. So he's very mice. <laughs> um, I know what you meant, but that's funny to me. <laughs> um, yes, maybe next time when I'm like totally famous, then I'll, um, I'll get to meet him. Um, a girl can dream, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't get to meet Diane Reevely, um, or Dina Wakely. Um, who did I meet? I met Catherine Pooler. Um, I met Jennifer McGuire. I met Christina Werner. I met Gina Kay. I met Kathy Rakusin. 
Um, obviously Christopher, <laughs> um, he was there. I met him. I saw him, you know, <laughs> um, who else did I meet? I met a lot of people. Um, I met Alexandra from the Hedgehog Hollow, um, Bets Golden. I don't know if you guys know who she is. She's super sweet. Um, I met her. I met Laurel Beard. I met Simon Hurley. I met, obviously, Marie in person and Lauren Lovato. Um, <laughs> who else did I meet? Leslie Omen from Heffy Doodle. Um, I met her and she was the sweetest. Hey, Dee. Um, I also, yep, I met Corin. Um, she was hilarious. She was every bit as awesome as I thought she was. <laughs> um, Yep, I met Corin. Oh, and shameless plug, I am going to be going to Corin and uh, Mary's event. Mary, are you still in here? I don't know if you're still in here. If you're still on the train and you're here, um, I'm going to your event. So, yes, I'm so excited. Um, oh, I did. Hey, look, there she is, Miss Joanne from Perky Penny Papers. <laughs> I did get to meet you. Um, yes, in Maryland. I'm going to Corin and Mary's event, which is February 3rd um, in Maryland. Uh, I think it's called Savage Maryland. Um, but yeah, I'm going to their event and um, it's going to be awesome. If you guys are interested in going, um, there are still tickets available, I believe. Um, and... Oh, Janet, that's awesome. I can't wait to meet you. Yay! Um, that's so exciting. I will definitely be there. I bought my ticket, and um, I'm super excited. Um, Corin had... I didn't know about it, but Corin was telling me about it. Um, Tana, that's awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Heidi. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really super excited to go, and um, I don't know. It's only a couple hours from me, so it should be a little fun trip. And my in-laws, so my husband's um, mom and dad, they live um, sometimes in Alexandria, which is probably only like 45 minutes from where the event is, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I think we'll kind of like go up that way. Oh, Kim, that's awesome. You should buy a ticket and go so that I can meet you. I'm just saying. Um, she has tickets on her, um, on her Etsy shop, which I can, if you are interested, I can send you guys the link. I had it before. Hold on. Let me, let me pull up Etsy really quick. Um, Etsy.com. Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay. Corin Wisman. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> Hi, Eliza. Um, yes, the shop. Okay, hold on one second. I'm almost there. All right. Here we go. Yes, I will send you the link right here if you want it. It's called On The Make. That is what it's called. Um, and it is basically um, like a crafter get together. Um, and they're going to be making, I think, four cards, three or four cards. Um, and yes. So there's at least one, because you can buy it. I don't know if it says how many there are left on here. I don't know. Um, but it says digital ticket for On The Make Valentine Extravaganza. Okay, so it is in um, Carol Baldwin Hall in Savage, Maryland from 1 to 4 p.m. on February 3rd. Um, and I will be there. Corin will be there. Uh, Mary will be there. And then Tana, who else? Um, mm, mm, mm. Janet is going to be there. So like even lots of friends in here are going to be there. So if you want to go, I would say buy a ticket as soon as you can, because it's only next weekend, I think. Um, but yeah, it's not, um, it's not too far away. And I think there's only a couple tickets left. So, um, if you want to go, you should totally sign up. Um, but yeah, I, oh, and also if you are a YouTuber and you want to help promote their event, I know I heard Corin say that if you share information about the event, um, and get it out there to help promote it, um, that they will, um, promote your content by streaming it or playing your videos on YouTube during the event. Um, so, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
So basically, if you're a YouTuber or um, like some sort of content creator um, and you want to um, like help out in some way by sharing information about the event or helping promote it, Corin has said that during the event, they'll have like a screen set up and they will be playing people's YouTube videos, um, like card making videos for people to kind of like watch or have on in the background. Um, so you may get more audience members that way. So that's really cool. Um, I'm super excited. I can't wait. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so that's that. That's on the make. Um, hold on. That was my 10% battery notification. Sorry. The good news about the forward facing thing is that I can see it um, like right when the notification pops up that I'm getting a low battery. Um, so instead of like when it's tilting down at my work surface and I can't see it and then I have to wait for you guys to be like, um, hello, it's frozen. Um, so that's kind of nice, the forward facing thing. But anyway, um, yes, I am so happy that we did this. Um, heavy doodle. Okay. That was Courtney, right? I forgot to write down the last winner's name. All right. So we gave away four things today. I do still have a couple other things. Oh my gosh, Kim, that's awesome. Yay! Um, I have a couple other things that I want to give away from Creativation. So stay tuned. Um, I may do some on my Instagram as well, but I wanted to do this for you guys first um, because I love my YouTube family so much. Um, oh, Tamitha, it looks like a hot mess to me. I think it looks way more organized on the screen than it does in person. <laughs> um, so I've got like my distress inks over there and then my distress oxides over here which I obviously don't have all of um, but I've got like my buttons and stuff up there I don't know um, we're gonna be redoing this I was telling you guys in the last video that um, I'm gonna be painting all of my um, stuff at some point in the future um, and I'm gonna paint it white to hopefully brighten up my room because I, my craft room is the garage and there's no natural light. Oh, I love you too, Fatima. <laughs> um, there's no natural light in here, and so it's very hard to um, do any sort of photography. It's hard to do like stuff like this. I have like a billion lights on right now, um, and so then I kind of get these harsh lights and shadows, and um, it is what it is, but Yes, I was hoping that painting the furniture would help brighten the room up a little bit. Um, and then also we're gonna remake these inserts because they are foam board, like from the Dollar Tree. And they're kind of falling apart because I've had them for a few years now and they've taken a beating. So we're gonna, that's on my list of things to do. So hopefully it'll work. I don't know, we'll see. And I also need to be better about my labeling because you see over here, like these are my distress inks and they all have the color on them so they look really pretty um and then over here there's the distress oxides and they're not labeled at all because i have not taken the time to because with those ones i inked them all myself so i took the color i printed out um the name on sticker paper and then i blended it with the actual ink color that was inside of it um so that i had a true color representation hi donna um so that's what i did for those and I just haven't done it for my oxides yet. Priorities, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I really like it. If it wasn't falling apart, I would keep it forever. Um, and I think, like I was saying the other night, if I had built a frame for it, um, it would be better. Like it wouldn't be sagging on the ends like it is. But oh well. Um, one outlet and one overhead light. Oh no. <laughs> uh Mine are all thrown in a basket for now. Tamitha, you're so funny. <laughs> um, I just, I found that I can't function with them. Well, and you guys should see my desk. It's a horrible, horrible place right now. Um, and I feel that's part of why I didn't do like a live for creating. Um, like, was because my desk was so dirty that I couldn't even like clear an actual space to craft upon. <laughs> um, because there's just so much stuff everywhere. Um, and part of it is because I was gone and so then I came back and sort of like dumped everything on the, on the table. Um, and part of it is that I've been like making things for my upcoming projects and stuff. And so it's just been, there's like, it's chaos basically. Um, yeah, Kijo, you know, yes. <laughs> my whole, it's like my whole area is like a bomb went off when I start creating because I just start like pulling things out and I'm like throwing things all over the place. You guys know, you've been in my lives. 
you know what it's like when I'm creating and I'm like throwing things out of the camera view. <laughs> That's my life. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so I guess before I go, I will give you guys a sneak peek of some of the stuff I've been working on. Oops, sorry. Um, cause my phone's probably about to die anyway. Um, but, um, Queen, uh, Queen's Ink at Savage Mill. Ooh, I will definitely have to check that out. Um, okay, so the other night in our live video, we did this card. Um, so this was my very first Spellbinders card kit card. So I made that one, which is super cute. And then we made this one um, in that same live video. So I really liked that. That turned out really cute. <laughs> um, the other one that I made with the um, Spellbinders card kit, so I've made three, three, <laughs> <laughs> not two, three so far. And the, um, this is the third one that I made. Um, and yeah, I just turned the hearts over cause they're, they're like the blue. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, probably not. They're like the blue and pink ones on the back. And I just turned them over and then used gilded, uh, embossing powder to cover them so that they would match my gold tape. Um, so I thought that was really cute. I don't know. I liked it. Um, Oh, okay, I'll pop over there in just a minute once I finish showing you guys my cards. Um, and I'm going to give you a super sneaky peek at, um, this is my card for the blog on Monday. Super cute. Um, yeah, I'll be over there in just a minute for Christopher. Um, that's my card for the blog on Monday. This one, I don't know when I'm going to share it, but I'm going to share it to you guys anyway. Ooh. Um, so I've been using the stencil and the stamp set to create these cards. And then this one is for the blog hop. Um, super, super pretty. I used Gilded Sparkle, you guys. Look at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, okay, so that is all I have. My phone's gonna die anyway, and Christopher just went live, so I'm gonna pop over to his channel. If you guys are not familiar with Christopher, he is the owner of Brutus Monroe. Um, his channel is Christopher Allen Designs, and he has super fun lives. I love being in his live videos. Um, and I'm a moderator over there, so I will help get links and all of that out and answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, but yeah, so I will pop on over there, and I will see you guys again really soon in another video. Hugs and love to all of you. Mwah. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again really soon.